afternoon guys hello it's Jenny here from just Jenny journaling welcome back to my channel um, just going on from the last video about this new day book I'm trying to put together for myself uh, remember the last in the last video um, you joined me um, with in trying to um, pop the signatures in and we use the no tie, uh, the no sewing method. Um, that's how it looks. I forgot to do that at the end of the last one, um, which I absolutely love. It's so, so quick. And if you haven't seen that one, um, I have actually linked in the last video, the um, inspiration for that from Ephemera's Vintage Garden, a lady called Debbie, who um, did it with, um, I think it's called her Easy Twine No Sew. Uh, journal um, anyway so that's that um, and as you know we managed to pop it together uh, I've got the five signatures in and what I want to do today very quickly is um, start to decorate the front of the journal so uh, that's what we're going to do today so as you know I'd actually already just put this vintage postcard on there I'd inked the edges and um, I'd sort of loosely covered the inside and reinforced the spine. So what I wanted to do, um, I wanted um, to use some lace, some fab, uh, yeah, some lace, I think, some lace scraps on this one, which I've picked out. And um, I'm going to try, I'll place how I feel I'd like it to go. Um, and I really did want to use, I wanted to use this second, this uh, butterfly. It was, it was an earring. And I'm basically wanting to use that because I just love the colours on it. So I am hoping to kind of place it with a lace hanging over the edge of the, the journal. Because I don't really want to encroach too much on the picture excuse me I'm actually doing this by my back door because it's a bit blowy outside and it's still blowing everything around so I'll show you how I've decided to place them and I've cut some of this lovely trim if you can see it it's got a beautiful green in it and I'm kind of gonna go like that I wanted that kind of layered and then this layered so it's a little bit higher up you can see kind of place it and then in my mind I will probably just sew that butterfly onto there kind of like that that's what I I kind of envisage maybe a little bit tidier than that but what I decided to do to, to really secure it is um, do a stitch it I will probably I've cut out a bit of card well I've got a bit of card I want to cut out and um, stitch this collage onto the card and then what I'll do then is I will be able to securely stick the whole card onto there and hopefully it will be really quite secure rather than gluing little bits and pieces uh, at different angles so that's an idea, I think, from um, Amity Bloom. Nazi from Amity Bloom, she was talking about um, the thought of sewing fabric collages um, together and then adding them to your work as you go along. So I'm going to just swap the camera, um, go and sew, and I'll come back and we'll hopefully be able to glue the whole thing onto the front here. Okay, see you soon. Bye. Hi guys, it's me again. Um, just the second part of the decorating the front of this journal. Uh, part two, um, well, be on the same video, but you know. All I'm saying is that now I've actually sewn this little fabric collage, well, these laces together. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't, I'm not really set up in my dining room to be able to show you with the camera um, how to film it because the lighting's terrible and all sorts, but anyway. I did cut out the piece of card and I machine sewed these laces uh, together, layered them, 
and, um, and then I just hand sewed the little butterfly um, onto the back of the card there and I, then I cut the card down um, and then what I'm going to do is use some Fabri-Tac to basically um, place this and then I can probably do little dabs of Fabri-Tac just to really really secure the lace where I would like it to be and I don't know if I might even do the tassels on this butterfly I'll see because it might get on my nerves I don't know so I'll leave them loose at the moment for starters and if in the next video they've gotten on my nerves um, while using them I might actually um, glue those down too so first and foremost let's get my fabric tag let's try and stay in frame so a good dollop because I've only just I've seen loads of people use it this fabric tag and it is absolutely brilliant particularly trying to use fabrics as well um, so I'll do that first and then I'll place it okay so I've just a fabric pack attached to the back of the card that gives me a chance to just place it where I think it would go best and then I think about there. I think about there. And what I will do, let's just check on the corner. You can see. You can see. And that's kind of like that. And I'll put a little dab. Let's move my tassels. I'll put a little dab down here, I think. The postcard is quite glossy. Oh, and you see it slipping a little. And this I just want a little bit. that on an angle just here am I still in frame yes I am just straighten that up a little bit a tiny bit and I want that kind of down just down a little bit just down a little as I said I think it was um I was watching Nazi on Amity Bloom and she um does some fantastic textiles in her journals well the whole journal when she makes them but even when she's do journaling making a little journaling notes and uh, decorating her pages and um, she has a little box of of scraps that she uses um, so she pre-sews all these little fabric tags as she goes along Let's just pop that there like that for now. And then has a little supply. Whenever she needs a little fabric something, I should have brought my tweezers. Um, already sewn. And um, it saves ruining your paper, especially if you've got delicate paper. If you've got um, delicate paper, it saves sewing straight onto the paper, but it still gives your work a, a lot of texture, which I think is a really good idea so this is the first time for me let me just check I haven't got glue all over these I have haven't I that could be a bit of a mess I'll tell you what I'm gonna do let's get these back down here and straighten them out shall I need my tweezers really let's uh, tell you, here we go here we go I need my tweezers to tweeze these down like so and then I shall place them back let's just do that then let's get them down here right now this minute mm. 
Just get some tweezers, guys. Hold on. Brilliant, brilliant. So that's kind of unloosened that. For now, I think I'll try and clean that glue off as we go. So that's my next stage. I'm probably going to just ink around a little bit just to uh, take the colour down a little bit on this um, white lace and um, decide whether or not I'm going to use a hitch post here or just, I don't know, or ribbon. I'm not sure how I'm gonna close it yet, but so that's basically how it's looking at the moment. So I've decorated the front of my journal. I really like that. You see that, you know, it goes with the tassels. You'll see in the next video. So anyway, guys, I've just got this, um, just for this bit here, I picked up yesterday a beautiful old uh, like vintage necklace with all these beautiful colours on it. I don't know if you can see it. This was one of the charity shops I went to. And it's got the pink and that beautiful green. Ah, it's kind of a own frame. So yeah, that gorgeous green and the, and the pink. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking I would love to do something with it. Uh, to decorate the spine although I really do I just like the way I like the design to be honest of the, the strings of the twine I like the way that's worked out but anyway guys so that'll be the next step um, once I've figured out what I want to do with it I might pop the camera on I might pop the camera on and we can do that together and then we can, I can actually start using it I can actually start using it and putting some of my, my, my October dates in Okay, so that's it for now. You've made the cover. Well, kind of started on it anyway. Um, for those who haven't uh, seen any of my videos before or joined us on this lovely journey, um, please like and subscribe if you would, if, well, obviously if you <laughs> have liked it. <laughs> and um, yes, I'm on Instagram. I try to be most days. Um, but uh, yes, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye.